This is a FMQ, the five minute quickie podcast from me, Paul Clough, from this niche of one, hopefully a niche of one, of unplugged personal development. It's to get you thinking, to give you information, to give you some real good snippets of processes that you can use of right now in this genre of personal development, breaking things down into simple how-tos that get results. Minimum amount of effort to get the maximum amount of return and make life brilliantly good. Because in this world of personal development, self-improvement, I believe things have been made far too complicated. Or people are talking about things that they just do and they don't explain how they did them. And I'm creating processes to enable you to get those type of results easily and effortlessly. And more importantly, simply, because as Einstein once said, in simplicity, there's genius. So therefore, we're going to create things simple. Simples. I want you to encourage you to have your dreams, to notice that sometimes when you haven't got them, it wasn't your fault. Yes, we have to take responsibility for the decisions we made, but we made those decisions with the information, the wisdom we had right then. And now you've got a chance to to really create the world you want to live in and create the you you want to be. Be fully integrated, you know, being authentic, singing from the right voice, not the right voice, your voice, and become part of this unplugged personal development team, this family, this thing that we're creating and sharing, sharing everything we do with everybody. So please enjoy, have more fun than you can stand, and please just listen. Listen and enjoy. Warning. 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 You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal Development Unplugged. Hey, welcome, and here's your heads up to this five-minute quickie. How many of you think... Yeah, that's a real weird question, isn't it, Paul? How many of you think... And how many people of you really think you really think? You know, that really deep thinking thinking. Well, I've got a question for you that might make you change your thoughts. Hey, have a listen right now. Okay, so today, I well, guess what? How many people talk about deep diving, deep diving on a subject? You know, they talk about deep work. Cal Newport wrote a great book about deep work. Taking time to specifically think, to think deeply about a subject, to get away from all distractions, the noise, so you can really concentrate. And I'm guessing if you're part of the personal development community, this little this little community we're trying to build, then you're into that type of uh, time, taking time for yourself to develop yourself, which does take some deep diving, some deep thinking. And I'm going to guess, if you're like me, you would like to get the, the environment right. So if, when I'm in my office, I like to maybe put some incense on. I put some very low music on. I want to be quiet have my Jenny journals, my books. And I have more than one. I might have a reference book. I get just the right colour pens because I like to have an array of pens, you know that. And everything is just right. Or it could be you go to a cafe and you get that lovely large cup of coffee. Again, you book your pens. You sit in that corner where you can see people but you're not going to be you know, intruded upon the noise is just enough to take away the real noise. And, you know, you've got your apps because there's some one or two great apps, you know, you, that you can play on. Evernote, I use Evernote. Um, there's a thing, another app called Whoop and another one called Workflow. All three I, I tend to use as ways of recording, as well as mind mapping in my books, um, recording my thoughts and where they're going. But here's the problem. Here's the problem that I've thought of, and it's a problem that I fall 
deep into. Because whilst I love the deep diving, the deep thinking, the deep work, yeah, I sometimes have to have that environment just right. And to be honest, that's BS because you'll never, never be just right. There's also times when we think, well, you know, things just aren't going to enable me to be perfect. And guess what? That's BS too because things will never be perfect. If they were perfect, you wouldn't be doing personal development because it'd be perfect and it'd be in boring. But here's the thing. Taking all that away, because I know when I was in the early days of my NLP, that there would be people who could intellectually, they've thought of everything. They could tell you about every book they've written. They could tell you about all the details, everything. They were so well read. Would you put a client with them? Not a chance in hell. Because they just knew it. They couldn't do it. And that's the thing about what I've... It was... It hit me, as it were, you know, the, of the blinding obvious. Thinking without doing is not worth the thinking. Because you can think and think and think and think, unless you're going to do something about it, then why? Why bother? So where are you on the thinking and doing? Because I've decided after every thinking, I have to make a note of what I'm going to commit to. I have to commit to and when I'm going to commit to and how I'm going to commit to it and what I've got to get done and by when. I am committing to doing stuff then. So yeah, the deep work, the deep thought, the deep diving is brilliant. We get that band of knowledge. But if we're not going to use it, there's no point. So how can I use this? When am I going to use it? What am I going to develop? What processes for me in the, like the hypnosis world can I change, can I do? What, how am I going to use what I've thought of, or what's been given to me, what I've learned? And that's the thing I'm going to challenge you, because we always have a challenge. When you think of your thinking, can you put a commitment? First of all, a commitment to do the thinking, and then a bigger commitment to act upon that thinking. Because in those five steps of success... Remember, first of all is knowing your goal, which is a sort of commitment. But unless you take that intuitive action, that commitment isn't worth a cent, a penny, a dime, or whatever you want to call it. But it's not worth nothing. So here's that, here's that challenge. Commit to that deep work. Get ready to make those changes and then commit to those changes. And one of the things you could do that will really help you cement this. Teach it to somebody. Teach what you've learned to somebody and tell them what you're going to do with it. Because by teaching them, you are learning it again. And you're going to have a, have a that knowledge is going to spark something inside you, I know. So then you can just go for it. And the other thing, by teaching it to somebody else, you're sharing it into this wonderful integrated field of learning. And things will then change. The ripples of change will go further and wider than you could ever imagine. So there you go. Have more fun than you can stand. And I'll speak to you real soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh, just a quick one. If you enjoyed this, got a little tiny bit out of it, that would be great. But can you share it? Share it with someone that you love. So Share it with someone you don't love. Share it to your best friend. Share it to one person. If it's only one. So we get this pay it forward mentality, this pay it forward into the wonderful integrated field of learning and make a difference to this world. If we all just did one little thing, the wave of change would be massive. Be awesome. And if you would, subscribe, whatever platform you get this on, whether it's YouTube, whether it's iTunes, whether it's whatever. If you would subscribe, that's brilliant. It's another way of, of showing the world, you know, that it's about and if you would leave just a little 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 uh, review it takes a lot longer than just the minute that a lot of people will tell you about but it doesn't take too long so if you do that it'll be wonderful and remember as always there's a huge amount of 
free hypnosis. All you have to do is go to paulcloughonline.com forward slash podcast. Be awesome. And if you want to give me any feedback whatsoever, just email me at feedback at personaldevelopmentunplugged.com. That's that's the email address. I'd love to know your takeaways. No, I'd like to know how you maybe adapted this so we can share it again. Be awesome. If there's anything you want me to do, talk about processes to bring to your attention, say feedback at personaldevelopmentunplugged.com. Speak to you real soon. Bye-bye now. Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.